we could be just 48 hours away from history unfolding in space. SpaceX making the final preparations tonight in Florida for the first launch of American astronauts from U.S. soil in nearly a decade. Tom Costello has more. On the pad at the Kennedy Space Center, America's next generation of space flight. A Crew Dragon space capsule sitting on top of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. After catching rides on Russian rockets for nine years, American astronauts are about to lift off from American soil on an American rocket. But for the first time in history, it's up to a private company to carry two veteran NASA astronauts to the space station. Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin. As far as insight goes, we've had uh, probably more than, than any crew has uh, in recent history, just in terms of understanding the, the, the different scenarios that are on our plate. SpaceX has been flying a cargo version of the rocket to the space station for years, but this is the first time it will carry humans. Complicating the mission, the coronavirus has forced half the SpaceX engineers to work from home. The astronauts taking regular COVID tests and remaining isolated. We have been in quarantine probably longer than any other space, uh, space crew has ever been in the history of the space program. On the orbiting space station, keeping the virus out is a top concern. You run a large chance of all six of us or all five of us getting it. So it's very, very critical that, that uh, we keep it at uh, 250 miles below us. SpaceX has suffered setbacks in the past, but has racked up an impressive track record of success. Founder Elon Musk tweeting in recent days, super exciting day coming up. Open your eyes, look up to the skies. Lift off a set for 4.33 p.m. on Wednesday, the mission lasting one to four months, depending on how it goes. Kristen? We will all be watching. Tom Costello, thank you for that.